found me shoes. Tell us another story, Grandma. All right. Do you know why the Industrial Revolution began? No, Grandma. Why? There are many reasons. I remember when I was a young girl growing up in Britain. Grandma, you're late. Sorry, so. As I, Mother Nature, was saying, Britain is a small nation with many natural resources, such as coal and iron. Ew! We need many workers to mine the coal, like your dad, Grandma. This revolution of ours is freeing our people from labor and is leading to a greater population. Maybe your dad can stop working so our Grandma. What? Hello, Professor. Class, we are in our... Entering a new age in technology, we have tons of skilled merchants who are ready to meet the growing demand for new practical inventions. Technology is an important part of this revolution, but it is not the cause of it. It only paved the way for it to exist. So, trade been growing. Does anybody here know what capital is? What is in the sea? We're not in America here. That's not the kind of capital that we're talking about. Capital is wealth to invest in enterprises such as shipping, mines, railroads, and factories. Right now, the population explosion has boosted the demand for goods. Now, scat. I'm going to go get myself a hot dog. Good day, class. Good morning. Right now, our country has a stable and well-balanced government, and our Navy is the strongest of all seven seas. Oh, my Lord! Speaking of the Lord... Thanks for bringing that up, Grandma. Religious attitudes and play a huge role in our society today. The re religious groups of the entrepreneurs <laughs> encourage hard work. Yes, those were the days. It was the age of new technology and I was glad to be a part of it. Grandma, I like your dress. When you mentioned that small child, I remembered making this with me, Mom. Come now, don't drop the cotton. It's just imported from India. They take us to the gear team for sure. What? Oh, my bad, that was chapter 19. What? Let's spin this in the thread, Grandma. Make it purple. What? <laughs> Three of my friends and I had a whole sewing click called the Spinning Jennies. Oh, look, here they come now. Hi, I'm James Watt, and I made crucial improvements on the steam engine. Hi, I'm Richard Alcray, and I invented the water frame, which uses water power to speed up threading. Hi, I'm James Hargreaves and I produce the Spinning Jenny, which spins many threads at the same time. Hi, I'm John Kay. I created the flying shuttle, which made weaving faster. Capitalists started investing in turnpikes. Turnpikes, privately built roads which charge a fee to travelers who use them. Spinners and weavers left their spindles behind and came to work in factories. Factories, places that brought together workers and machines to produce large quantities of goods. All of our inventions got rid of the putting out system and made the revolution happen. What? This is the future, and the Industrial Revolution affected not only how goods were made, but also how people lived. The Industrial Revolution brought a tidal wave of economic and social changes that swept the industrialization nations of the world. What? On land, on sea. The steam locomotive was invented and perfected by George Stevenson. It pulled carriages along iron rails and did not need to follow the course of a river, so it could go places a river could not. Robert Fulton invented the steamboat, his favorite called the Claremont. It had a record-breaking speed of over 5 miles per hour and could carry 10 to 20 times more cargo than older wooden ships.